So we're basically the largest and best brand for gifts on the internet. We supply gifts into Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of other places where you use them. The reason why Giphy exists and what we do is give people really good quality content to use to communicate. Um, if you want to say something funny and you want to pull it out of a TV show and you want to use a little bit from Friends or you want to use something from Game of Thrones, we actually work with all the television networks, all the movie studios, sports leagues and music labels to make sure that that content's available on Giphy and searchable. And so then you can use them as, as little ways to express yourself. It was invented in 1987 by a guy named Steve Wilhite, and he invented the format to get images to render on the internet. In 1989, they were made to move, and about the early 90s, mid 90s, they started looping, and then that's the format that we're stuck with today and that everyone's been using. Um, it's a short, looping, silent format, and it's taken a little while for technology to catch up, bandwidth, processing, cost, uh, and even mobile penetration. But now, since technology is everywhere, there's so much bandwidth, everyone's got a little screen and supercomputer in their pocket, you're seeing people use visual things to communicate rather than words, and GIFs are really the ultimate form of self-expression and communication uh, for this mobile and sort of connected era. Yeah, so what happens is we've actually grown over the last four years to be the leading provider of gifts. And so our brand's gotten so big, we're getting a lot of inbound interest. Um, for instance, Paul McCartney's team did contact us and say they wanted a presence on Giphy because they noticed, you know, we're sharing maybe two billion gifts a day, maybe more. Uh, and out of that, they wanted to make sure the Paul McCartney gifts were well represented. And so they asked for, uh, for our help. And so we've got technology um, from our whole tech team to our editorial team to our arts team and our curators to actually take a lot of footage from Paul McCartney's team, turn it into GIFs, and then distribute it throughout our network. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it's our competition. It's actually our friend. Memes are a lot of uh, what GIFs are used for, um, and a lot of those memes are derived from pop culture, so from TV shows and from movies. Um, and so we actually make them available everywhere, and that's why 150 million people are using Giphy every single day. A funny thing to think about is we work with partners to help them create content, but a lot of those partners are also driving pop culture because they're the owners of major TV shows and the owners of major film franchises or sports leagues. And so it kind of goes hand in hand. A lot of things that people reference as pop culture moments are actually coming from the content our partners generate. And so we're able to actually create an immediate pipeline from that cultural moment to the, the thing you can use right inside of your conversation. Um, do you want to see it in action in Twitter or Facebook as well? Um, yeah, uh, uh, last year um, Giphy uh, named my Obama mic drop the number one GIF of 2016, which gave me exposure everywhere and, you know, people reposting it and posting it and um, that, that gave me a lot of freelance work from, from that GIF. Or, sorry, do you leave me right now? I work in many multiple media, but GIFs is one of my favorite mediums to work in. Yeah. Um, why? Why? That's a great question. Um, there are a number of reasons. One is that it autoplays. So as soon as it hits a browser, it's already going to start playing as soon as the viewer sees it. Um, another reason is they're small and they can travel really fast. So people can put them on their Facebook, their Twitter, their own websites. Um, from Giphy, my 
GIFs pop up all over the web, which is something that's really fun, and it tracks it for me. So when somebody's like, my kid won the like, Little League game, my GIF pops up, and I know it. Um, so that's really fun for me.